they are protected by the police here and now they are also to be investigated by them. After weeks of saying there would be no inquiry by the Metropolitan Police, an abrupt change of heart today from its boss. As a result, firstly, of the information provided by the Cabinet Office inquiry team, and secondly, my officer's own assessment, I can confirm that the Met is now investigating a number of events that took place at Downing Street and Whitehall in the last two years in relation to potential breaches of COVID-19 regulations. Happy birthday, this seems to have been the last straw, the allegation that on his birthday in 2020, the Prime Minister, after visiting a school, returned to Downing Street and went to the Cabinet Room, where about 30 people were waiting for him, complete with cake. That could be a breach of Covid rules at the time. This lawyer who represents some who've lost loved ones in the pandemic says there are grounds for a police investigation. It seems to have strayed beyond what could conceivably be construed as an office gathering. And it seems to have developed or, or started as a party. Uh, semantics aside, there were too many people in the same place at one time and that was hazardous. There is now a long list of alleged parties and COVID breaches the police could investigate. As well as the one now highlighted from June 19th, 2020, there are as many as 18 more beginning in May of that year and going through to April last year. We don't know which of these the Met intend to concentrate on. It's not clear where the police investigation now leaves the report by the senior civil servant Sue Gray, a report which had been due to be published within days. It may not be the first time a Prime Minister has been investigated by the police, but this is still an extraordinary moment. That's Boris Johnson going in to talk to MPs about Ukraine, but his opponents are already saying he can't concentrate on that kind of issue with a police investigation hanging over him. Boris Johnson's answer, more or less, bring it on. So I welcome the Met's decision to conduct its own investigation because I believe this will help to give the public the clarity it needs and help to draw a line under matters. The opposition have already made up their minds. Boris Johnson has now degraded the office of Prime Minister. It is distracting everybody from the serious cost of living and other issues the country faces and disrespected the sacrifices everyone else has made. That is why he must go now. Questions about what happened in Downing Street had already brought Boris Johnson to the brink. Will a police investigation buy him time or push enough of his own MPs to decide enough is enough?